Welcome to another video. So, it doesn't seem that Google is going to launch Gemini 3 anytime soon, at least not this week, because they have now launched two new checkpoints on LM Arena. It's obviously not officially confirmed that these are Gemini's checkpoints, but it's pretty much that based on the results and leaks. So, these two models are called Orion Mist and Lithium Flow. These are really good models. Orion Mist is supposed to be the same model as Lithium Flow, but with the grounding or search tool enabled, while Lithium Flow is the base model without grounding or search enabled. So, both models are pretty much the same. One can just tell you about recent events. People on Twitter are saying that this model is supposedly not as great as the original checkpoints, and a bit more nerfed, which aligns with what we saw in the ECPT checkpoint. Also, follow me on Twitter. The handle is AI Code King. I'll post some more of my findings there as well, apart from the testing that I'll do in this video. Anyway, now you can test the model yourself on LM Arena by choosing the battle option, and you can encounter either of the two models, between Orion and Lithium. So, that's how you can test it as well. Now, I've obviously tested it on my 11 questions. So, let's check this out. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered creation suite that lets you type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Now also the best place to use Google's Nano Banana for images and VO3 for videos, plus affordable 3D model generation. Inside the image playground, Nano Banana shines for fast, high-quality image generation, and you can add reference images and do edits right in the tool. You also get Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kandinsky, and more in one place. The Video Playground supports Google VO3 with and without reference images, and you can render in different styles without the usual complexity. Great for coders who want results, not knobs. For 3D, you can upload a PNG, think a Lego build or a simple robot, and get a printable model. Cheap, quick, and surprisingly clean for rapid prototyping. Pricing is among the best for VO3 and Nano Banana, and you still have access to about 10 other handy AI tools like avatars, background removal, logo, emoji, ads, and app icons in the Creative Tools suite. It starts at a low entry price, and you can take an additional 30% off with my coupon code KING30. Check Photogenius out through the link in the description and try it for yourself. Now, back to the video. I've only tested Lithium Flow because both models have very similar responses, and Lithium Flow is the base model. So, we can test the base model this way. Anyway, Let's start with the floor plan. And well, the floor plan is not anything extraordinary. I've seen better from the previous checkpoints. This doesn't make much sense and isn't as good. So, yeah, this is not great. ECPT was also very similar to this. So, I wouldn't say it's worse than ECPT. ECPT itself was worse than previous options, and I believe that it's basically just that model. But in LM Arena, it's much more easily available. That's why people are able to try it themselves and see the responses. And that's why they are saying that it's worse. Previously, they only relied on things being shared by others, which weren't true in many cases. So yeah, that's what I think. The responses are very similar to ECPT. But the SVG panda eating a burger is pretty great. You can see that the anatomy is pretty good, the colors are laid out correctly, and it's overall great. This generation is better than ECPT, and on par with what I've seen with the better checkpoints as well. So, this is great. Then we got the Pokeball, and I also prefer this over the ECPT checkpoint. I feel the colors here, and generally, it's better than the ECPT checkpoint. So. This is great. The lighting of the scene is also good, but the previous checkpoints also used to add a background and stuff as well. So, that is not available here. However, now we get the chessboard, and well, the chessboard looks pretty good as well. It makes good moves, and is better than ECPT from my testing too. So yeah, this is good. Now let's move to the next one.
which is the 3D Minecraft game. And well, this is also good. It's very similar to what we saw with the 2HT checkpoint. So, I really like this. It's pretty performant and just good in a ton of ways. It doesn't have the lighting, like the X28 checkpoint, which is still superior, but this is also better than the ECPT checkpoint. So yeah, this is good. Then we got the majestic butterfly flying in the garden, and this is very similar to what we have seen with the ECPT checkpoint. This is pretty good for sure. The environment isn't as fleshed out as in the X58 checkpoint, but this is also fine. Then we got the blender script for the pokeball, and well, this is also pretty good. It got the lighting correct, and everything works pretty well. So, yeah, this is pretty great. I really like this. Now, the general questions and math questions are pretty great with this, and it passes them. This makes it score above the ECPT checkpoint, but still below the previous two checkpoints. So, yeah, this is an improvement over the ECPT checkpoint for me. But it obviously depends on who you ask. I've been testing it on the same 11 questions. So, it gives me a good guess that this is the same model, but more finely quantized. You can basically think that LM Arena's endpoints are generally the ones that are deployed to users. So, I'll be very happy if this is the one that's deployed. This might be running with slightly lower thinking budgets, while the bigger thinking budgets might be for the previous ones. So, this is great. I really like this model. I find it better than the ECPT checkpoint. So, yeah, this is great. It has been enough checkpoints at this point. It would be better if we just get the final model release now, because I'm really getting fed up with all these checkpoints. Some people were saying that this may be Flash, but in no way I'd say that this is Flash. It's worse than the first checkpoints, but I don't find it to be Flash-level degraded performance. So yeah, this is great. That's majorly about it. Google should just launch their models and also tell which checkpoint they are launching because there's been a lot of talk about the checkpoints. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this as well. I really find all these models good and we'll always only get quantized models at deployment. We'll never see the base model. So, the performance degradation is justifiable in my mind. I just hope that this is the checkpoint we get, and it's not degraded anymore, because I wouldn't like that. And I also hope that this is good at tool calling as well, because not many people use models for just raw capability. Many people use them with coders, and that requires pristine tool calling. So, that's majorly about it. Let me know what you guys think about this as well. Also, follow me on Twitter. I'll post more of my findings about this model as I test it further there. So, follow me there as well. I'm also excited to see what the Flash model turns out to be. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.